He's established himself as a first-line football coach. Now he would like to take his playbook to Washington, D.C. Jeff Urban coaches at Rosemont High School and will this fall. But if things go according to his plan, he'd like to move in the fall of 2018 to a seat in the Congress. Rosemont football is his love, bringing the Irish together on Friday nights in the fall, a passion that keeps him motivated. And to be able to take young men and get them to commit to a cause that's greater than themselves, that's an, that's an awesome experience. And that usually leads towards greater team success because guys are bought into the team concept. And we've had a lot of, we've been very fortunate at Rosemont to have kids buy into that concept and uh, it's been a good experience for us. A husband and father to three, he made another leadership decision this spring. He's running for Congress a Democrat in 2018. In our society right now, it doesn't feel like there's a real team approach. It doesn't feel like we appreciate and value people for who they are and what they bring to our society. And so that's why I'm running for Congress, because I think there's significant changes that need to be made. And uh, I think my experience as a coach in working in those areas is going to be a great advantage for me. He already understands competition and intensity, and he understands being in football means being a participant. And if you want to change something, it's about action. You just can't sit, sit and, and complain about how things are going. Um, and if he's got the confidence and the, the energy to do it, then we're going to go ahead and do it and be a team. What it means to his family matters. See, he will keep coaching and teaching government this fall while campaigning. And oh yeah, his only son, Jackson, is the starting quarterback for St. John's. Yes, it will be one busy fall. Yeah, it's going to be a lot different because usually we're just caught up in like football, football, football. <laughs> and that takes up most of it usually, but now we got this on top of that. So it's going to be crazy. It will mean he will probably have to beat Angie Craig, who won the Democratic nod last year, among others. And if he gets through that, there is the just elected now incumbent, Jason Lewis, waiting for a challenger and establishing his name in Washington. Obviously, Jason Lewis and the things he's doing in Washington, D.C., are, uh, are, 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 you know, we're paying attention to that because he is making decisions that aren't going to be good for our community. And we think that we can uh, hopefully play off that and show the differences between our campaign and what Jason Lewis is representing. That could make him a long shot. The way he sees it, it's like coaching at Rosemont. We're the 16th largest school in the state. And if we plan on beating teams that are larger than us, we have to have you know, all of our, 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 all of our T's, you know, crossed and I's dotted so we are disciplined. What they know for sure is that they are entering a new stratosphere of time management. <laughs> All bets are off, huh? I have no idea, yeah. but yeah. You know, when, when we decided to do this, you know, we were warned this is gonna be crazy. And having lived through, I don't know, 27 seasons with Jeff, football seasons, I thought we're used to this, we can do it. But it's gonna be, it's going to be intense. What his son knows is he believes in the father and the teacher and the coach. Being his son and uh, his player is just pretty cool, just going back and forth and just having the opportunity to be both his son and player. And what dad believes is his background has prepared him for this opportunity, just like readying for a championship game. I think what's, what's a bigger advantage for me is being able to work and show that I've worked with people from all kinds of different walks of life and that we're able to come to a conclusion and, and work together on finding solutions for moving forward. It's going to be one busy fall. It sounds like it. <laughs> wow. Yeah.